All right, this video will show you how to create your testing sessions for MAP. Every advisory teacher needs to do this. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to teach.mapnwea.org. All right, it should bring you here if you've got your password and login saved. Uh, otherwise, you'll need to log in. Um, that's with your email address, your Harvey email address and then your password. If you don't remember your password from December, please send me an email and I will set it for you. All right? Please do that as soon as possible. So first thing, when you get to this screen, you're gonna to go to Manage Test Sessions. Next, find students to test. Fill out your information. So we'll put Gwendolyn Brooks. For this example, I'll put grade eight. Of course, you put your grade. And then you choose your name. I'm going to do Miss Lipscomb. You choose yours, of course. And then everybody is going to choose their advisory class. Everybody's going to be testing their advisory. All right, so that'll narrow it down enough. So you just need to fill in school, grade, your grade, your name, and then everybody's going to choose advisory class because we're all testing advisory, our advisory classes. Next, click search. You should have a list of all your advisory students. If you see any discrepancies in that list, please let me know as soon as possible. All right, so all you need to do here, they're all selected already. All you need to do is click Add Students. So I have the list of all my advisory students. I'm going to click up here at the top, and that's going to select all the students. All right, so if I click that one at the top, that selects all of them. All right, if I were to click it again, that would deselect all of them, but I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to assign a test. So let's say, for example, this is going to be the reading test, which is the one we're doing first. So we're going to be looking for growth. First thing is make sure you're looking at a test that starts with growth. Do not go down to something like screening, right? It must start with growth, right? So we're going to do growth. And then if we're doing the reading test, I'm going to look for growth reading six plus common core state standards right this one right here growth reading six plus now i want to go ahead and show you the other tests that you're going to be assigning as well so once you've made your test session for reading you're going to also need to make your next one for math so for math you are also going to be looking for growth for math you'll look for growth math six plus on the course state standards growth math six plus right is the math test and then lastly we have the language arts test and for that one you are also looking for growth language 2 through 12 for that one growth language 2 through 12 is our language arts test growth math six plus is our math test growth Reading 6 plus is our reading test. Sorry for being so repetitive with that, but it is very important that we choose the correct test for each testing session. So for this one, uh, this example, I'm going to be making the reading session, so I'll click on that one. I'm going to assign that to each of the students. Now, if you have a student who will be testing with Ms. Daru, uh, she will be pulling those students out and she will be creating her own test sessions. Right? So you're not going to have to send those students out with a code. She's going to have her own code, and she's going to pull those students out. Right? So if you do have any of those students, you can click on this box to deselect, and then you can click on a specific student's name, and you could remove that student from your test session, and Mr. Wu will have her own testing sessions with that student uh, in there. Right? So Mr. Wu is going to be testing all of those students. If you have resource students in your classroom who are typically pulled out, um, she will be doing that, so you can click on that individual student and remove them from your session. Finally, make sure you save the session. Click Save. I believe that's right out of your screen view. There go. <clears throat> so down here at the bottom, Save Session. We'll follow the same format as usual. So I made a test session for Ms. Lipscomb, and this was her reading session. So room number. 136. Read or reading, right? We'll use an S this time for spring and spring 19. Finally, click save and exit, and you're done.
right? When you want to find your session, right, you'll find uh, you've got 136 read, spring of 19 right here, right? I can edit it and see that I have my advisory class, make sure all my students are there. I see that I have the reading test assigned, splendid. Next thing I'm going to do is go up and repeat that process and I'll create the session for math and then finally I'll create the session for language arts. So go ahead and do that and please let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to come by and help but please let me know. The sooner the better. Thanks.